Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we start, we'd like to thank you all for the support you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that, so thank you. Now, back to the video. Did you know that certain daily habits can damage your brain? And we aren't just talking about affecting your mental well-being. These habits are actually closely linked to causing damage to your brain itself. This is important because damaged brain tissue can make you more susceptible to developing illnesses, such as dementia and Alzheimer's disease, which stem from cognitive decline. Therefore, becoming aware of some of these habits may help you reduce the risk of damaging your brain early on. So with that said, here are nine harmful habits that can damage your brain. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a medical or professional diagnosis. If you suspect you experience cognitive decline or any health conditions in general, we highly advise you seek help from a qualified health professional. Number one, staying in the dark too much. Do you often stare into absolute darkness, hoping that you'll fall asleep, but can't? Do you love staying in the dark even during daytime? Not getting enough natural light may make you depressed and that can have a negative impact on your brain. Sunlight helps keep your brain working well. Without it, your brain doesn't know when or how to release the sweet, sweet melatonin. So ironically, staying in the dark for too long will eventually leave you sleep deprived. Number two, consuming too much negative news. Did you know that the media you consume every day can impact your emotions, thinking, and behavior? According to psychotherapist Annie Miller, it can be damaging to constantly read about the news because constant exposure to negative information can impact your brain. The overconsumption of negative news can trigger your fight or flight response, which can take a toll on your physical, emotional, and mental health. Number three, blasting headphones. Did you know that listening to music a little too loud could be bad for your brain? While using headphones to listen to music can be convenient and relaxing, blasting music to your ears for a long period of time can actually do more harm than good for your brain. Experts have agreed that loud music may lead to hearing loss, which could cause memory impairments down the line. Number four, social isolation. Do you always avoid social events or gatherings? The impact of social isolation can actually be pretty shocking. Other than the commonly known mental health effects of social isolation, such as depression, there are also potential negative effects on the brain itself. According to a 2012 study from The Ohio State University, chronic social stress, such as social isolation, causes stress responses in the brain that can make you more susceptible to strokes. Number five, too much screen time. Do you spend a lot of time on the internet or social media? Too much screen time can not only damage your mental health, but it can damage both gray and white matter in several key areas of the brain, such as the frontal lobe, where processing and higher order thinking occurs. While it would be almost impossible to go without technology or social media completely in today's day and age, it's important to be conscious of and moderate the amount of time you spend in front of a screen. Number six. Consuming too much sugar. Are you the type to crave candy bars, cupcakes, or soda after a long day? This may be because craving sugar is one of your brain's ways of responding to stress, but it's important to be aware of just how much sugar you're consuming because according to PharmaWeb, taking in too much sugar may lead to an imbalance of nutrients in the body, which could further extend to malnourishment in the brain. Number seven, skipping breakfast. How often do you skip breakfast? whether it's waking up in a frenzy or not feeling hungry early in the morning. Taking a pass on breakfast may sound appealing. However, according to PharmaWeb, it's another practice that can lead to malnourishment in your brain. Think about it. When you were asleep, your body went approximately eight hours without food. So in order to function at your best throughout the day, it's crucial to replenish all the energy and nutrition lost at night. Number eight, you're barely moving. How often do you exercise? Whether it's taking a swim in the pool or going for a quick jog in the morning, doing exercise can greatly improve your brain function. According to Brock Armstrong from The Scientific American, exercise helps oxygenate your brain and release growth-promoting hormones. So depriving yourself of these exercise-induced benefits could stunt brain development and over time negatively affect your overall well-being. And number nine, poor sleeping habits. Do you sleep enough or too much? The number of hours you sleep as well as the way you sleep can have an effect on your energy, mental health, as well as the impact of your brain function and memory. Being deprived of enough sleep can negatively impact your long-term memory and cause your brain to function in ways it's not used to. 
Similarly, according to PharmaWeb, sleeping with your covers over your head is also bad for your brain as it disrupts the oxygen flow between your brain and body. Do you relate to any of these harmful habits? Recognizing these habits early on and working to change them can help you minimize your risk of damaging your brain tissue. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share it with those who might benefit from it too. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.